Tuskegee is a retired little town situated 40 miles east of Montgomery, so wrote Dr. Hallie Tanner Dillon Johnson in a report on Tuskegee Institute's Lafayette Dispensary, a facility she helped establish. Despite the natural beauty of gentle sloping hills covered with grass, tall pines, and stately oaks, she also recognized an inequality of medical treatment there. She proceeded, in such an Eden as this are found many suffering with diseases brought on by non-observance of the laws of health, for this is a portion of the South known as the Black Belt, and black it is, not only with people of this despised hue, but black with disease and death. As Alabama's first licensed female, as well as its first African-American female physician, Hallie Tanner Dillon Johnson contributed greatly in her post as physician for the Tuskegee Institute, as well as the rural Tuskegee community surrounding it. Hallie Tanner Dillon Johnson was born in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania on October 17, 1864. She entered the Woman's Medical College of Pennsylvania in Philadelphia when she was 24. She was the only African-American student in her class. Upon graduation, the dean of her school connected her with Booker T. Washington, president of the prestigious Tuskegee Institute. She accepted the position and moved to Tuskegee in August 1891. Before beginning to practice, she had to pass the Alabama Certification Exam, a 10-day affair that had many of Alabama's most prominent white male physicians on the examination committee. By the end of it, these physicians granted certification to Dr. Johnson, praising her performance. From September 1, 1891 until 1894, Dr. Johnson served at Tuskegee Institute. She also saw patients outside of the campus community, which spurred her determination to bring the Lafayette Dispensary to Tuskegee. This venture, which was sponsored by Northern Funding, helped provide services to more black residents in the area. Dr. Hallie Tanner Dillon Johnson died of dysentery and complications from childbirth on April 26, 1901 in Nashville, Tennessee. Indeed, I feel that Tuskegee ought to be the place where the vital statistics of the colored people can and will be studied with intelligence, she wrote. Her instincts came true. Her efforts on account of the rural Alabama medical community carried on in the programs of the Tuskegee Institute and characterized its contributions to African Americans not only in the South, but on the national level as well. <laughs>